Hey guys, it's Brad Berger. I just wanted to show you a uh, quick kind of troubleshooting thing that I ran into, an email I got from one of the associates at Keller Williams North Point. Um, she gets an email, but some of them she can't open, and this is the message that it gives her. Uh, the folder does not have a file associated with it for performing this action. Create an association in the folders option, control panel. Um, generally what I would do when I get something like this is I would copy this message that it's giving me and I would Google it. I know you guys will probably get tired of hearing me say that um, but honestly it's the best way to find out stuff so um, by putting it in there I found it's come up with some different things as far as what that message could mean um, generally this one's from 2006 generally I don't go back that far but uh, in this case I went ahead and clicked on it and it basically gives you step by step of how to fix it um, you know basically the simplest thing is uninstall and reinstall but if it's Microsoft Office which this is uh, that's not really an option and it takes a while so um, the easiest way to do it is um, you know it tells you here you have to associate that file with what program will open it so I've got that email open here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see show you how to do that so here's the email um, that she's not able to open uh, if we come down to the bottom it's got this uh, it's a Chinese proverb dot PPS now I know PPS is PowerPoint slideshow but not everyone probably knows that um, so here's how you'll fix it you're gonna hit download you're gonna do save and then I always tell people make sure to know where you're saving it to so like easy ways to do it is to put it to your desktop uh, give it a name that you know and then click on save so well, once that's downloaded you're gonna just click on open folder if on yours this goes away when it gets done it's because this box is checked to close this box when the download is complete so uh, make sure to uncheck that or you know if it does close all you have to do is um, go to your desktop and you'll find the Chinese PPS that you just downloaded so what I'm gonna have you do is right click on that and go to open with and then go over here to choose default program so if it doesn't know uh, what program to open with it may recommend here's a couple that you might try uh, you can also look under other programs if there's something else uh, that you like to use uh, but for it for this one it is a PowerPoint so I'm gonna select PowerPoint I'm gonna check always use the selected program to open this kind of file and I'm gonna click on OK so not only is it going to open this one in the future when you get one of those messages it's going to be able to open that as well so and I can see that the PowerPoint is uh, it has come up and I can look through it read it and get all the all the wisdom and pass it on and all that good stuff so anyway that is my uh, that's my tech tip for the day about file association so if you have any questions or comments or um, you know problems things you need help with email me brad at bradburger.com uh, or you can connect with me online on Facebook or Twitter uh, you can also visit my website bradburger.com so we look forward to talking to you soon have a great day it's, it's like this to burn, but turn the inside out and learn Not to tell you anything, I think I know